You actually played with Mikel Arteta, who's a disciple of Pep, who's doing brilliantly at Arsenal. Mm. Did you always see that he would be a top coach? 100%. So I remember when Arsenal, Arsenal we were struggling to get in the top four, and uh, Mikel pulled a meeting, you could just tell this is manager material right What, now. pulled a meeting with the players? Oh, the players, everyone. Didn't they? And it, we were there being mistraining for a period of time because he was just had to talk to everyone, and it was just like... <laughs> what was he saying? You might as well be the manager right now. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Theo, we're going to do 32 quick fire questions. First squad number, away we go. My first question is, how the hell do you support Liverpool Football Club? <laughs> <laughs> Blame my old man. Now, Michael Owen was my favourite player growing up, so that's the reason, because he's similar to me, the way I played, so yeah. I'll let you off. Okay. So you're a bit of a mentor there, Michael Owen. Yes. Your favourite ever goal? Um, favourite ever goal would be, oh, it's got to be FA Cup final for me. Yeah, it has to be, just can't beat that. The toughest opponent you ever faced in your career? Apart from yourself, um, <laughs> Patrice Evra. Patrice Evra? Yeah. Come on, talk to me about that. Oh, Patrice Evra was so annoying, he would like stamp on your feet, he would pinch you. Aggressive. Aggressive. He's, he used to attack as well, he didn't really want to defend, so I had to defend, and I don't want to defend. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons, but he was just... He had all the attributes as a fullback. Yeah. It's quite nasty, wasn't he, Patrice? He had a little nasty side. And when he caught you, he caught you like he was yeah. like bony elbow or something. Right? And then off the pitch, he's good as gold. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a good lad. He's a good lad. One game you'd love to relive and play again in your career. Oh, one game. I'd actually probably say the England Croatia one scored hat trick because being 19, youngest yeah. ever goal scorer for England. Just look to over and do that again and yeah. again. I'd have to do that, yeah. Do you know, look at, like, say, Thierry Henry's career, and I always think of his goal, that one in that left channel where he'd set it out into that far corner. You had that goal, didn't you, in between left back and left centre back, where you'd fire it into that far corner. Was yeah, it? Well, essentially, to be fair, I always feel like Van Persie was a better finisher than Henry. You think so? Yeah. Like, watching Van Persie, because I had a lot Controversial. more. Controversial. Yeah, I mean, I mean, left footers look better yeah. as well, right? So. <laughs> Do you look at Van Persie as a sort of bigger role model for you in terms of how you would finish? Yeah, I thought because you'd I think, Thierry. well, it's more the fact because I played a lot more with Robin. Yeah, so I, yeah. I did play with Thierry, but Robin was like, he made my job easy because he yeah. was literally, I'll give it to him his score and it's this done, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was your favourite player you played alongside? Oh, it's two, it's either Cesc Fabregas or um, Santi Garzola, just, I'll go Cesc. Um, because they could find you, they could spot your runs. Exactly it. I love playing with Cesc, I love playing with Jack as well, Wilshire. Cause left footed because being on the right, left foot natural to do that. What about Jack if he didn't have his injuries? Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Like, but what he's done now, like his coaching side, yeah, like, yeah. he's can indulge in his brain because he's got a lot of knowledge. Yeah, of... he's having a big impact, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, really is. The favourite film you've ever watched? Favourite film I've ever watched? It's me. Uh... Were you supposed to be in Harry Potter? Yeah, do you know, my, my, my uncle's uh, directs the films, the last three films of Harry Potter. and. Uh, just because of football. That's a good I, contact. I, I mean, I said to him, maybe I could <laughs> come be an extra now in these films. Um, <laughs> best film? Uh, oh, goodness me. We'll just go for No Country for Old Men. I've seen that. Have you not watched it? It's, it? it's interesting. No Country for Old Men, I like good yeah, films. It's, it's, What's it's, it about? It's, it's about, what's it about? Goodness me, it's about sort of drugs and guns and oh, right, okay. it's all sorts of, yeah, it's interesting. Give it right. a go. I'll watch it. Yeah. Best subject at school? Um, I really enjoyed maths. Uh, I'm not saying I wasn't very good at it. What were your but... results? What were your results at school? Um, oh, you were playing for England at 15, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> did I did you do school? That, yeah, briefly, <laughs> but not as much as I should have. But uh, maths was my favourite. It uh, wasn't the best, but maths was, I enjoyed maths. What were your results at school? Um, they, I passed most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it there. <laughs> your favourite sport outside of football? Your golfer? I'm a golfer, yeah. Play off 10 at the moment. Oh, it's not bad. So, yeah, golf. That, that'll come down, won't it? Yeah, it will. Yeah. <laughs> give, me, give me a month or two. <laughs> favourite book? And you've written a few, haven't you? Yeah, so favourite book... I actually I've read the Will Smith book recently. OK. Um, which I really enjoyed, actually. Um, quite an interesting sort of life. Yeah, I wrote the sort of the kids' books when I was younger, many years ago. Um, TJ and the hat trick and penalties and the cup. Are you going to go back to that or not? I, I'm not going to rule anything like, like that out, really, because my, I've my got kids. I've a contact that contacted me two weeks ago. It's a cousin of mine who wants someone to write a kids' book. Do you want me to put you in touch with her? Oh, mate, I've got, I've got time. <laughs> You've got loads of time. <laughs> you could do three by the end of the week. <laughs> Favourite food? I love sushi. You love sushi? I do love yeah. sushi, to be honest, yeah. My brother works for sushi, so he... And oh, my yeah, son loves... Chef. Yeah, yeah, my, and my son loves sushi, so, yeah, yeah sushi's a Are you a good cook? Me. 
I can cook stuff like cook well, like chili con carne, like <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. These are your football, football dishes. Food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it. Fastest hundred meter sprint time. Oh, see, like this is. You were always the quickest, were you? Yeah. So I remember breaking Omri's record at Arsenal, which was uh, it was like not to forty, and I did it in four point one something. So it's quite quick. Quite sharp, yeah. yeah. Sharp. It was when I was proper quick. And then Hector Bellerin came and beat my record. What and was I, he, doing he did it in literally like it was like not much difference really. And I said to the club, you need to now put the gates next to each other so we can, I can actually race them instead of just running on your own. So I was like, you're racing with someone, yeah, yeah. Like you probably wouldn't know. Me. No. <laughs> no I, was um, a, I was a little bit um, behind that. But. Uh, <laughs> That's why I used to, if you were setting off, I'd give myself a few yards, you know what I mean? I'd be That's back it, here. you just kick me. Oh. Um, but yeah, I'm at school 15, I ran at 10.6. I was 15, 14. Jeez. Quite quick then. I had football running style as well, so not the actual sprinter style, yeah. Have you, I mean, might have just answered this question, the quickest player you played with, would that be Bellerin? Or do you, after you? God, recently, the, the um, Sant and Suleiman, He's so quick. Is he? He's so quick. I've never seen anything like. Is him. that just because you've got a bit older, or is he so quick? <laughs> Might well be. No, we know he's really quick. Yeah. But he always likes to beat player, come back beat. I like, just yeah. feel like you've beaten him once. You've done now. You need to use your pace. Yeah. Is um, Lavia quick? Because obviously a lot of th talk mm, about him. Lavia is he's quick up here, um, and the first sort of five six Sharps yards. Sharps the ball. Sharps yeah. the ball. Good on the ball. Very good player. One one to keep an eye out for many years, I'd say. Yeah. Worth sixty million. I mean, it's gone mad if, like, you was, you would have been worth a lot of money back then. 50? 40? No, I'll go 60. And myself and my, yeah, maybe. Give me the money. world record transfer fee Isn't for a self? teenager, weren't you, when you went from Southampton I to think Arsenal? I went for, yeah, like, is it 12? Yeah, so it's like a world record for a teenager at the time. At the time, yeah, so it's it's gone mad now, but it's essentially the market's moved, right? So, um, yeah. He's worth what anyone's going to buy him for, right? Yeah. Best stadium you ever played in? Dortmund. You played there? Yeah, brilliant stadium. Just, mate, just because of the, the, the atmosphere. Oh, just yeah. that's, that alone for me, yep. Yeah, it's special there. Best piece of advice you've ever been given? Your dad's over there, so you, you, you better give him a little name check. Oh. <laughs> best advice. Well, you're under pressure here. Do you know what? Uh, best advice, it was actually a coach at Southampton. Um, Sorry, Dad. Yeah, Andy Ritchie. <laughs> he used to play for Brighton, and he said to me, pass the ball in the net. He always used to sort of, with power and placement, Essentially, that's what Omri did, and that's when I started to look at more Omri than Owen. Yeah, I, I loved Michael Owen as well, but that's that was probably that sort of sort of flipped me towards Arsenal fan instead of Liverpool fan. Then yeah, <laughs> you change your foot. Good yeah. decision though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's that was probably one of the best advices. Yeah. Your favourite video game, and you were on the front of FIFA 10, yes, weren't you? Yes, I was. So, I've never been on the front of FIFA. <laughs> it was me, Frank. Believe it or not, it was me, Frank, and <laughs> Rooney on it. Uh, favourite video game. Oh. Is it a big problem in the game? Video players games. playing videos all the time. Yeah, a lot. They play a lot. Like Too much? Yeah, because you're essentially away from normality as well. Like you're, you know, I've having my son. Brain fry. Play, it's brain fry. It's like a, it's like a hit that you need. Yeah. Like the Call of Duty and all that. So I'm not. Yeah, it's that. Probably just be FIFA. I've Mario, FIFA. Super Mario Brothers. I play with my kids. That's that's for me. Yeah, Brilliant. Old school. Love it. Yeah. Your favourite karaoke song. Are you a karaoke man? I can sing well. Can you? Go, I yeah, go, I no, come on, there we go. I've got a bit of a sore throat, all the talking we're doing. No, come on, what's um, your favourite song? Then? Give us a little, a little rendition. Be, uh, Ain't No Mountain High Enough to do, but I'm not going to do that right now. No, not, can you dad sing? A couple. My, uh, he can sing pretty well. Do you fancy your little duo? Absolutely little not. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. But yeah, that would be me. What's yeah. yours? Oh, no. Indie rock from Manchester. You didn't stuff that, to be oh, fair. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. No. <laughs> Most famous name in your phone book? I've got Samuel Jackson's. Have you? Yeah. How'd that happen? Well, my, my uncle being the director of... Oh, the films? He did Tarzan film. Oh, OK. Um, and he's in that world. Yes. Right. So uh, I've got his number, yes. Still owes me a round of golf at some point. <laughs> the funniest teammate you ever played with? Oh, would be Aboué. Emmanuel Aboué, Aboué. Yeah. yeah. He's... I mean, for someone who, bless him, who come on, get subbed, and then come off and sub, and then still be OK and laugh about it. You know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. <laughs> Biggest phobia, what you're scared of? I don't, I'm not a fan of, like, heights. No? But, like, I'm really Jumping out of a plane? Yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not sure about that. Maybe... Abseiling? 
Done them all recently. I think jumping out of a plane I wouldn't want to no. do. No? And yeah, that would be my biggest fear, actually. Yeah? Maybe because of the fact the kids, when they're older and they can look after themselves, you know, yeah. maybe jump out of a plane just in case it goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the best manager you played under? The best manager would be... would have to be Arsenal Wenger. Arsenal, just the fact yeah. that, yeah, 13 years at Arsenal with him. Yeah, it's got to be. Which manager would you have loved to have played under that you didn't? It's either Sir Alex or Pep. Pep, just because I've had a sort of insight to speaking to him when I've been injured and I've just chatted to him in the, in the sort of tunnel and he's just an interesting person to speak yeah. to away from the cameras, put it that way. <laughs> yeah, he's very, very interesting. You actually played with Mikel Arteta, who's a disciple of Pep, who's doing brilliantly at Arsenal. Mm. Did you always see that he would be a top coach? 100%. So I remember when Arsenal, Arsenal we were struggling to get in the top four and uh, Mikel pulled a meeting, you could just tell this is manager material right What, now. pulled a meeting with the players? Oh, the players, everyone. Didn't they? And it, we were there being mistraining for a period of time because he was just had to talk to everyone and it was just like... <laughs> what was he saying? You might as well be the manager right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so long ago, but it was so inspirational. Yeah. And I can see that's, that's him in a yeah. nutshell right now. And right now what he's doing at Arsenal, I went to go to Community Shield the other day as well and I just feel like he's doing something right there at the moment. Yeah. He really is. First pair of boots you ever owned? I had the Umbros that Michael Owen wore. Yeah. Biggest sort of studs on them. <laughs> Heaviest boot ever. Um, and I still got them actually. Still got those boots. Yeah. Your best friend in football? Oh, best friend in football. It's this really interesting question because best friend in football, you always like, you say you're one club and then you move on and yeah. you don't speak to them for a long time and you see them. It's Just like acquaintances aren't they really? Yeah, acquaintances. Um, do you know, like in my time, I'll, I'll go for my Arsenal time. I really, Vito Minoni, yeah. goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. Um, he'd probably be. One of my sort of best friends in football. Still keep Definitely. in touch with him. Yeah, now and then. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think is the best player in the Premier League right now? Best player in the Premier League right now. It's too easy to say Haaland, isn't it? That's just oh, De Bruyne. Everyone says De Bruyne. It's De Bruyne. Yeah. I've got a shirt, and yeah, my kids want everyone's shirt. I can't get any shirts now for them. Um, <laughs> De Bruyne. De Bruyne would be for me. Incredible. He'd uh, find you with a pass, wouldn't he? He would. What's your secret passion? Something that no one knows that you sort of do? Um, secret passion. Thing that you love doing that no one knows about. A secret passion, that is a very interesting mm. question. Maybe I'm exploring the Well, let me come back yet. to it. Have a think about it. What was the one thing you can't live without? One, can, one thing I can't live without? Um, these are tough questions. Oh yeah, tough I? questions. It's, it's not easy, it's this me. bit. No, live without. Um, You've got to be sharp. I know, I'm not really that sharp anymore, that's why I'm retiring. These are long fire. Um, <laughs> I couldn't live without football in some capacity in my life. Is that that's a good, good. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Like, yeah, I, like, generally. I know I'm stopping, but, like, that's one thing I couldn't live without. Do you without. watch all the games on television? So now my son loves it. He likes to watch highlights constantly. Yeah. And even that's if we've watched it over and over again, he wants to watch it. You say highlights, does he not watch the full game? No, because they a don't want to young... sit still for that long. Yeah, a lot of younger people, they say that, don't they? don't want to watch the full game, they want to watch the highlights of the well, game. Well, the Community Shield, my son, 50 minutes, they were done. They were fighting and the kids, it's yeah. like they were done. And I'm like, so games need to be 50 minutes long <laughs> for the kids. I think, to be fair, there will be some, <laughs> some owners in the Premier League might agree with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stick a load of adverts in as well and there you go. Yeah. Messi or Ronaldo? Um, I'll go Messi. I'll go Messi. Haaland. And Ronaldo. Haaland or <laughs> no, Mbappe? Messi. Uh, Mbappe, my son wouldn't live with me if I didn't say Mbappe. No, it's Mbappe for me. Who's your boyhood hero? Apart from Iron Man, it'd be... <laughs> what, is that like a cartoon <laughs> uh, so, thing? Yeah, no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Thierry Henry for me. Thierry Henry? Yeah. I'm coming back to that secret passion one. <laughs> See, that's an interesting one. So, like, this might be a very... I mean, I've got like a Gator, one of those Gator vehicles you can drive off-road. What's that? It's like a, it's one of those sort of John Deere sort a Jeep. of... Jeep? Jeep things, right? Right. And Without a roof on it? Yeah, it's got a roof, actually. Oh, and you, I like driving that off-road a bit around the fields and sort of harrowing mm. the, the menagerie we have of, of the horse fields. It's, it's yeah. very strange. What's menagerie? It's, uh, you know, when sort of... Um, I'm learning new words. Yeah, well, it's... <laughs> it's where they do the show, <laughs> sort of show were, jumping you you, horses you, and stuff, you know? Oh, right. It's kind of like, it's quite... Relaxing. You just put on a podcast and you just go around and harrow the field. Lovely. Just, what podcast listen to? Oh, uh, podcast. Apart from the overlap. Yeah, stuff, apart from that one. Anyway. Podcast I listen to. Um, I've, I mean, I have listened to the Crouchy one, which is great fun. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to get into a bit more podcasts now. The sort of what's the other one? The, Are you start your own podcast. Well, maybe we'll see. I haven't even thought about that. I could well do. I think so. 
There'll be a lot to speak about. That's the sure. world is in front of you, everything's yeah, there. Exactly, maybe I could indulge in that as well. Right, last question. You've got a last minute penalty for your life. Who would you want on it? Probably be Van Persie. Probably Van Persie yeah, for Van your Percy. life. Theo, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank brilliant. you so much. No Great to speak to you. Thank you.